previous video, we saw how to run a simulation with the CLI and I showed you where the results were, but I didn't show you what, like how, how to decide what results you want. And, uh, you know, because if I open this model here again, well, there's some, some information that I have here, but there could be so much, so much more that you can add. So this is what we're gonna, what we're gonna do now. These things here are called sensors and, you know, each sensor gives you some information about the simulation. And within a sensor, we have different fields, okay? So the way you add sensors, well, some sensors are pretty fine here. So, you know, you can have, um, well, if I come here, for example, you know, you can have sensors for the blades. And if I look at blade two, so blade two, let's see, blade two is this one. You can see that it just lit up when I click on it. So there's a little um, drop down menu here to show the two sensors that you can have. And one is what we call the blade span sensor and the other one is what we call the blade time sensor. So these are the, the two sensors that I added now, the span and the time. This one was a sensor for blade one. I'm just gonna re remove it for now, just, uh, just for this video. So yes, yeah, so this is how to add these two sensors. Uh, the, blades, the blade time sensor gives you, well, that's the information that you get here. So you get all these fields, the first at the root, the bending moments, so you know the bending moment in plane, so in, in, in the rotor plane, the bending moment when the, the blade is moving in the rotor plane or out of the rotor plane, deflection at the tip, and yeah, some more things. So yeah, this is a this is a time this gives you a time series, right? So if I check out the the deflection out of plane, then you see you know I get this uh, I get a graph with like time on the way on the x-axis and, and deflation in meters on the y-axis. There's also this other sensor which is really useful, which gives you information across the whole blade. So for example, if I want to look at the angle of attack, when I come here now, this is the angle of attack across the whole, the whole blade, okay? So on the x-axis I have the distance to the blade root and the y-axis I have the angle of attack. So you can see that it varies with time, but but it's not a time series anymore. You don't have like the time in the in the x-axis. You can see that it changes it changes in time. That's that's what I meant. You can see that the values the values uh, or the graph is, is is moving a bit with the uh, as time passes. So yeah, so these are a couple of blade sensors. Um, because Ashes is a finite element software, you can get information pretty much. All over the all over the the model. So if I click here, this little icon that goes into wireframe mode. Okay, so this is 3D mode. This is wireframe mode. And here you can see all the elements and all the nodes that compose the model. So I can right click on you know, a node, for example, and I get some information on an element. And I get some information. And this is also how you can add sensors on the elements. So, for example, if I wanted to see the the forces at the bottom of my tower, I would come here, add this sensor here, and then I have it. Let's see. Then I added it um, here. It's this one here. Okay. Or same. If I wanted to see the the motion of of the tower top, I could add a, a node on the on. I could add a sensor on the nodes. Uh, on the top nodes, which is this one here. So once you have created this here, so uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove all of this just to just to simplify a bit the you know the visualization and stuff. But you know, if I wanted to add, let's say that I want to, to add the blade span sensor. So once I'm happy with my with my sensors here, I'm just gonna save my model. Uh, again, so that you know we have the we have the base model ready for the for the Ashes CLI. So I have saved my model, and if I go to the batch manager, and if I create a new batch, so yeah, I'm just gonna use the default name. What you see here is the sensor list. Okay, so I only had one sensor, so when I double click, you can see. You can see the list of sensors that I have for, for this simulation, and here there's only one. Um, you cannot add sensors from here. You can you can only delete them. You cannot add them from here. So if you wanted to add a sensor, you would have to you know go here, uh, add your sensor, and go to the batch manager, create a batch, and, and so on. 
but yeah for now we have this uh, this um, badge which only has one sensor and if I export maybe I'm gonna uh, shorten the simulation to yeah, 10 seconds if I export my uh, batch CSV file now I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna call this I'm go gonna call it batch CLI because that's the one that we had before so if I come here and open my my batch file you can see that this column here is a sensor list okay and here I only have one one sensor it's um, so you can you can write you can change this manually in Excel or in whichever text editor. It's a bit daunting when you see how the sensor are defined. It's not very hard. Like you can you know if you go to the user manual, you will understand how how this works, like uh, what all this means. But it's probably easier to just you know add the sensor here, add the sensor that you want, and then create the batch create the batch and then like export the batch file and then see the see how the sensor is called so that's what I'm doing now here so this is the second batch that I just created where I actually added a sensor and I have the sensor name here that's kind of the, that's the way I would do it but obviously you know you, you can also just write the, the name of the sensors if you follow the right format but yeah, so now back to back to this one. So I just created a I just created a um, CSV file for my batch with just this sensor. So I have my batch file that I'm gonna save. I have my model that I just saved before. So if I come back to my MATLAB scripts and I run it, press F5. So now the simulation is gonna run. And once the simulation is finished, I can go and check my results. So yeah, ashes 20 batch runs. Okay, I have two I had two batches with the same name, so that's why it just got a little one added. Uh, but that's the batch that I just run now. And now if I come here, I can see that this is the well these are the results that I asked for. So this is the, the data from the from the blade span sensor. Yeah, I can just open this to show you, but this is a, this is just a text file with, with the information. So the information across the span of the blades and here the time at which it was taken. Cool. Yeah, I hope this was useful. Uh, as always, just don't hesitate to ask questions on the forum if you if you have any doubts. See you around.